What up, what up? This is KP the Artist, and this is five businesses you can start today with $1,000 or less. Number one, graphic designer. Being a graphic designer is a great way to make extra money. You can design logos for businesses, cover art for recording artists, and much more. Online resources such as Fiverr and Thumbtack can help you find clients. It helps if you're already an artist, but with all the templates and resources available today on the internet, anyone with the desire can turn this into a lucrative business. The only limit is your imagination. Number two, hairstylist or barber. As a hairstylist or barber, you could work at a shop, own a shop, or even work from home. If you work at a shop, you have to pay the owner booth rent. Now this booth rent may be paid, well, it's gonna vary based on the shop that you're at. If you own a shop, you can charge other hairstylists or barbers booth rent. And if you work from home, you wouldn't have to pay booth rent or charge anybody for booth rent, but at the expense of allowing strangers in or outside of your home. You know, choice is yours. Either way, either one of these could be a good option. How much money you make will be determined by your skill level and clientele. Number three, handyman. While it's possible to get a decent job as a handyman, the big bucks usually come from working for yourself. If you choose to work for yourself, your professionalism, trustworthiness, and reliability is going to matter more than ever. By returning calls promptly, showing up on time, and being professional, you can charge a high rate and your clients will heavily pay it. Number four, landscaper. As a landscaper, you will have to decide whether you would like to rent or buy your equipment. You can rent equipment such as lawnmowers and leaf blowers from stores such as Lowe's and Home Depot. If you buy your equipment, it will be more expensive, but it'll save more money in the long term. If you rent, it'll be cheaper, but not in the long term. There are only a few forms of business insurance that you will actually need to start a landscaper or business legally, but the most important one you will need would be general liability insurance. That covers everything from cost of repairs, legal fees, and even employees accidentally running the lawnmower over the sprinkler. Number five, photographer. As a photographer, there are several ways to make money. You could work with small businesses, teach photography, sell digital copies or printed copies of your work, and much more. If you choose to work with small businesses, it would be helpful if you have a way to show your clients what they will be paying for. This can be done by having a printed portfolio with you or examples of your work on your phone. And when I say on your phone, I mean saved on your phone, not like on your website because if you're in a bad area, you know, your customer or prospect, potential customer may not want to wait for your phone to load up to show them some, you know, they may have somewhere to go, you know, so it's better to just have it saved on your phone, that way you can get to it a lot quicker. You know, and if you choose to teach photography, it will be helpful if you have a YouTube channel. This way you can help other photographers grow their businesses, do what you love, and monetize the content. Self-help videos are among the most popular videos on YouTube right now. If you choose to sell digital or printed copies of your work, this can be done by using websites such as Getty Images and Pond5, and there's many more. Many websites that buy stock photography are easy to use once you get started with the process. Now for more videos like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.